This is a battle between the Burgundians, commanded by the Prussian prince, and the Alans, commanded by Orgeteric of Agartha. So, a bit of rivalry between Agony and Agartha. So, yeah, the Burgundians being commanded by the Prussian prince here, I believe. And the Prussian prince has gone for six scattershot hurlers, six royal lancers, and six Burgundian axes with a royal Burgundian general. So this is very... this is an interesting build, because it's, it's what you would expect from the Burgundians. Definitely. Bring as many royal lancers as you can, bring as many Burgundian axes as you can, bring the cavalry general with brace. But bringing six scattershot hurlers instead of the Germanic archers is very interesting, because the scattershot hurlers have shorter range, but their potential to do damage quickly against enemy targets is higher than that of the Germanic archers. So in a fast-paced game, scattershot hurlers might be what you're looking for instead of the Germanic archers. So for Orgeterix here, we have six Germanic bows. Then we have, uh, of course, Noble Alani. I think he has six Noble Alani. Yep. The Cavalry Brace General. For infantry support, he has Elite Agathrasai, four of those. And then he has an additional um, Sarmatian Cataphract Archer, which can be very annoying to deal with and very powerful when used at the correct time. This is a very short battle, so let's see how it goes. If I was to... Um, if I was to predict which army here is is going to do the better against the other, uh, I would say that the Prussian prince's army, unless charges get blocked, the Prussian prince's army has the potential to tear through the army of of uh, Orgeterix. However, once these once these royal lancers get blocked, and the noble Elani are able to join the fight instead of getting charged by them. It's going to be very, very difficult for the Prussian Prince to to turn it around. But we'll see. The skirmishing is going to be very important here. And Orgeterix can't really engage the scattershot hurlers and expect to come out on top with his Germanic archers, uh, his Germanic bows, unless he fires, pulls away, and fires and pulls away. So these are not Germanic archers. These are Germanic bows. Very cheap units. So using them against the scattershot hurlers like this, it, it makes it, it actually makes sense. And he's rushing them up very, very close here. He might just want to use them as a screen. Firing here with the scatter shots is the Prussian Prince. But Orgetrix just being super aggressive here. But let's just look at how many Germanic bows he's losing. The entire unit almost being destroyed, but it allows him to get in with his noble Alani cavalry. But let's see. <laughs> wow, this is quick. Let's see here. The Prussian prince smashes in with his uh, smashes in with his uh, his royal lancers. Doesn't get a charge here. But the noble Alani cavalry is taking a lot of casualties from these royal lancers, and and both being a bit slow with the infantry support here. The Prussian prince actually managed to get away with his royal lancers here, and he gets a charge against the Sarmatian Cataphract Archers. Since he hits charge speed, he's going to be able to kill a few of these Sarmatian Cataphract Archers, I think. And over here, the skirmish screen of the Prussian prince did first a good job against the Germanic bows, and then it does a fairly decent job in just stopping the stopping the charges of the, the cavalry of Ogeterix. But Ogeterix is breaking through here. The Sarmatian Cataphract Archers got away only losing a few men. In the center, Prussian Prince smashing into the Sarmatian War... Oh, there was some Sarmatian Warband here as well. And the Elite Gothersai. Very nice cavalry play here by both sides, actually. Uh, the Prussian Prince pulling out his Royal Lancers, getting in his Burgundian Axis. Morale is going to be a problem for the Burgundian Axis. They can't take very many casualties and, and um, recover from it. Persian Prince sending his scattershot hurlers in to start, try to stop the Sarmatian Cataphract Archers. They're being used very nicely here, moving all the way around and getting into the rear of the Prussian Prince's Burgundian Axis, doing massive casualties to them. This, this battle is a clusterfuck of epic proportions. Here we have these cavalry units, Noble Alani, they're not going to do well in extended fight against uh, Burgundian Axis. But hard to call it at this point. 
both generals uh, are alive, but the Prussian princess general is in a more dangerous situation than the Alani general. The Alani general charging into the royal lancer, the royal lancer responds, but the royal lancer was fairly beat up from that. The Prussian prince has a few scattershot hurlers, he's using them to good effect against the elite Gathrasai here, doing damage to them. And here the Burgundian Axemen are also doing well against the Summation Warband. Finally, the Summation Cataphract Archers are off the field. Uh, well, they could actually return here. The Prussian needs to be so careful with his general here. He's going to cause some friendly fire when he crashes into the Elite Gathersai. Might lose his general there. And the Summation Warband got uh, smashed by the Burgundians, but the Burgundians are also going to rout. Both generals die at the exact same time, so this is going to be very, very unpredictable. But it looks like the Prussian has some ammo left on his scatter shots. He could use that to snipe low morale units. In the center here, all units are wavering. But the Prussian prince's royal lancers did not break. So they're going to get a charge against the noble Alani. They're going to do a lot of damage to the noble Alani here. Uh, this noble Alani mopping up the Burgundian axis of the Prussian prince. And the Prussian Prince's general unit is still on the field with five men in the uh, unit, but the general is dead. And these skirmishers wavering. And it looks like... It looks like Orgetrix comes out on top. He had the better morale. He was able to... He was able to stay on the field after his... Uh, after his... Um, general routed. And... Using the Germanic bows like that, not skirmishing, but just smashing into the scattershot hurlers, uh, was a very interesting move, and it, 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 ter it paid off, because he would have lost that fight, so creating a blob with the Germanic bows was a very good idea, and the Prussian prince's uh, cavalry, although he did, he used it well, and he used his Burgundian axe as well, what got him in the end was his units just routed off the field and, and uh, the Allens had the more, the sturdier cavalry. So I don't know if the Prussian prince expected the Germanic bows to just charge into the scatter shots. Uh, they almost got decimated doing so, but they did protect the cavalry, the cavalry follow-up. So very nice, very, very close battle. They have about the same amount of men remaining. Orgetrix deployed slightly more men than the Prussian prince. And these Elite Gothersai, there were some Elite Gothersai left on the field, and with their headhunt ability, they're able to stay in the fight, uh, become unbreakable, which is so, so, so important. So, very nice, very fast-paced battle there, and we'll see what happens. I think they're going to be, this is a best of five series, I believe. Not entirely sure, but we'll see what happens in the next game between these two great players. Strength and honor.